What's going on guys? My name is Krypton again. Today I'm going to be making an update video to the OBS video I did a while ago and that video did really well and a lot of you guys had a lot of questions that you know I could be answering right now so that's what I'm going to be doing. If you guys do end up enjoying the video make sure to drop a like on it but anyways guys let's get straight into the video. First off if you guys are trying to live stream or do anything you guys are going to have to add a scene and then after adding a scene you are going to have to add a source. Most of the time you can use game capture which is literally just going to capture uh, any tab that you're in you know if you open up minecraft if you open up um, I don't know steam app you can look it up through here and it'll probably capture it if it's a full screen app now if you're trying to capture an Elgato or something like that or your webcam you're gonna want to go to video capture device and this is a little bit different because like I said this is for video capturing at the moment I don't have anything plugged in but obviously it would pop up here and most of the time the default settings are the best thing to go with or you could always go with the easy route of just display capture and as you guys can see this is my audacity and stuff like that but the thing about uh, display capture which is just your entire monitor screen is that if you get a notification like an email or something and it pops up it'll just like actually like pop up and other people will be able to see it compared to like a game capture tab which will block out anything else so that way your privacy is protected which is a really really nice feature so now moving on to the settings we do see uh, general there's nothing really to change you go down to stream this is where you're gonna be selecting what you want to be doing so of course for service you're gonna want to select what you're gonna be like streaming on restream is a way to live stream on YouTube and Twitch and other places at the same time which is really cool and of course Twitch and YouTube um, I'm gonna leave it on YouTube and then get your stream key which you can easily Google to find and your output this is what's gonna be important a lot of the time if you have a capture card like an Nvidia graphics card if you have it on NVEC it'll work a lot lot better because this will work only off of your GPU so I have a GTX 1060 and if I tried live streaming with X264, I probably would not be able to live stream just because this relies more on your CPU and it just makes it a lot harder to live stream. But if you have a good graphics card, a decent graphics card, if you use NVEC or anything like that, if you have AMD and you use OpenGL, then it will probably work a hundred times smoother and better just because you know it's using the graphics card power instead of using a cpu in case you have a really bad cpu and you have a really really good gpu which is you know a lot of the times that really does happen now for rate control you just want to leave it on cbr and bitrate this is where it all you know this is what revolves around your entire live streaming process and i'm going to leave a link down below so basically you guys are going to go to speed test and on speed test you guys are going to test your internet speed and this is my internet speed as you guys can see download speed is 94.4 megabytes per second and upload speed is 12.02 megabytes and once you guys have that information you're only probably going to need the upload speed so 12.02 then you're going to want to head over to this website over here and you're going to convert it so that way you can see what you're turning it into so it's 12,000 uh, kilobit per second and once you guys have the number of your internet um, uh, upload then you guys are going to want to go to this OBS estimator website and I know that the official link for it was taken down but someone made another link to get to the same website so it's still working even though on my last video a lot of people were complaining that it's gone you just have to go through this link now and I have uploaded that video and you guys can of course use this video to get there too then just fill out everything that needs to be filled out if you guys have an Intel or an AMD make sure to fill that out and of course what graphics card you have if you have integrated graphics or if you have an actual GPU then make sure to fill that out and of course what game you're gonna be playing so that way it can calculate the best result for you and like I did show you guys before since you guys did use the Google calculator over here to like change the numbers instead of uh, 12 megabit now we have 12,000 in kilobit and now we just put that in and as you guys will see it'll give me an estimated result after I put in what I want to live stream at most of the time I want to live stream at 1080p so then I just click recommended settings and it'll say set FPS to 30 and consider FPS to 60 with the resolution downscale and a lot of the time you can go a little bit over you don't necessarily have to click any of this but the network advice this is what's going to be more important for you guys uh, it'll tell you if you know you have good enough internet to live stream at 720 or 1080p 
and of course it'll tell you your max bitrate and your recommended bitrate so as you guys can see 3500 that's exactly what i have right here so i'm all good there now just going over to the audio tab it's all the same you guys know just fill out the basic stuff it's really simple uh the output part was like the most important part and the downscale filter here if you just leave it on the cubic uh it'll be fine because um that's like in between and it's not going too hard and it's not going too light so you're using up your computer really well and of course if you guys can't live stream at a really really high setting then you guys can just change the output and make it so that your canvas resolution is 1080p but when you're live streaming it how they see it is 720 so it's not that hard on your computer and you don't lose that many fps and the quality is still kind of there of course hotkeys you guys can set this up these are just four hotkeys i have nothing too great and for advanced you just want to leave everything on normal because changing it up every now and then can be beneficial but most of the time you just end up changing things that you don't want to do if obs is a hard program to run on your computer put it on above normal but besides that don't try to move anything around because you will end up messing everything up on your computer and you're not going to want that but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on it let me know any questions that you guys might have any questions at all don't worry about it because last video i had a lot of questions and i just went through them and started answering all of them make sure to check out the links down below so that way you guys can properly do this research that i'm telling you guys by getting your internet and then a bunch of other stuff Anyways guys, hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys around and I'm out. Peace guys.